Hello. <coughs> Welcome again to the CS1001 project. What we did in the first tutorial uh, was to we created a project in Eclipse. Uh, we put various source files and uh, GSP files from the sample application that you should see from your um, from the U link, which is this one, right now. What we would be doing now is we would be extending this JSP, uh, this uh, Eclipse project that we have created, and embedding the task one website that you have created into this Eclipse project. Okay, so so I have selected just to show you the way to do it. I have selected this website. So this is one task which has been submitted by STB01 team. I have just picked it up randomly. Okay, so this is their code. So what you need to do is you need to copy all the code. Yeah. Go to your um, Eclipse folder. So this is your Eclipse folder, yeah? Team 2, Task 2, which is inside your CS1001 Eclipse project. So go to your Eclipse project, go to the web content folder, and copy and paste all the contents of your website. OK? Now, your website will have a page index.html. And before we created a page index.jsp in the Eclipse project. So if you go to the Eclipse one and refresh this, click refresh, and then you should see all the HTML pages. Now, our task is to So there seems to be some problem with this code. What says? Um, okay, I think home server coded this. They did not close the image folder. So I do this. All right. So debug all these small errors which you see. Okay. Now our task is that we. So this is your index.html. Let me see what errors you. What's that? Okay, I just removed this. All right. So this is the index.html yours, and this is the index.jsp. Where is our JSP file, which is here? Now our task is. Um, I'll show you how this. project looks in the first place. So if I okay I need to get the URL. I think this is how the project looks okay. Uh, you may not be able to see this very nicely because um, I have the screen resolution right now is 600 by 800. I have done this so that I can record the things nicely. Okay, so that's what is the, uh, you know, your project. Now, so this is your HTML, okay? Now, what we will do in this HTML is we will, in the body one, we will, we will make it, first we will make it dynamic, okay? Which means we will put some JSP content here. Now, to in order to put the JSP content, uh, the name of this file should not be HTML, it should be JSP. So it should be index.jsp. Now, how do we do it? Uh, we already have an index.jsp, right? So maybe we rename the index.jsp. Yeah, uh, we just rename it old one. Yeah, all right. And then we go and we say our index.html, we rename it to index.jsp. So your index.html, you just rename it to 
index.jsp and where is your jsp here okay now we open the old index.html which is own index.jsp yeah and we'll try to put the code from so that's your old index i'll close the extra files which are open in the eclipse so so that we all can see the files okay so that's your index.jsp i have just saved uh, index.html i have just saved it as index.jsp okay and that's the old index.jsp uh, which um, you can see from the uh, sample application provided in the ulink okay now what i will do is very simple first thing you need to copy this line in the top okay so i go and i say copy this line. okay second line is this doc type now some of you may already have this doc type in your html files um, if you have you don't need to copy okay if you don't have then you need to copy this line as well okay since this file already has it so we will not copy it um, that's all really for JSP now what the only thing that we need to do is we need to put some code let's say uh, let's say print this thing okay now this is JavaScriptlet which means let me just go to so sub let me first see where the body starts okay now good look this website the good thing about this website is they have given comments okay so it's easy for me to understand what is what like they have said this is main context so I main content so I know that this so these are the advantage of giving uh, the the comments so this this is one good thing about this website so they have given good comments so look they have given set the footer area so I will I want to go to the top of the page yeah so this is the main content okay all right so on the main content suppose I want to add today's date yeah so a welcome message okay so I want to say um, welcome and something something all right and I want to make it h1 for example all right so I open h1 I close h1 all right okay now I okay now since I want to print today's date so I will use now that's one of the main difference between static and dynamic uh, please refer to your lab do, uh, lab notes uh, document one which explains the difference between static and dynamic. static the main difference between static and dynamic is in the static web applications the content has been created beforehand whereas in a dynamic web application you create the content when the user requests for it so for example the website that you have submitted for task one is a static one because all the content has been created before it now suppose my requirement is that you should say welcome to the user and you should say um, today is and you should say date now if you hard code the date suppose you say today is uh, let's say 24th or let's say uh, 15th Jan yeah now I and if if you hard code it then no matter when I open this page I'll always see that the date is 15th of Jan so if I happen to open it on 15th of Jan that's okay if I if I open it on let's say 20th of Jan then it's not okay because the date should be the, the date that should be displayed is 20, 20 to 0 of 20 of 20th of January so for that we have to create the date or we have to create the page when the reason when the user is requesting it so what happens is we will write a Java 